Hey guys, welcome back to my uh, second video, um, my second toy review with my new backdrop. Um, if you haven't saw my in-depth uh, Samurai Rangers toy review, this will be um, my permanent uh, figure reviewing place for when I'm at my dad's. Alright, so, as you can see today I'm reviewing R&M uh, Kamen Rider Tiger. Now I've reviewed this toy once already. That was a while ago in a uh, R and M two part special, um, which part one was blank form, part two was this guy. Uh, keep in mind after the uh, great cleaning that my of my room that my dad did when I was gone over the summer, last summer, he threw away a lot of my stuff, um, including blank form. I'm happy that he didn't throw this away though, so that's cool. So I'll be doing a re-review of this uh, since it's now in better lighting and got the backdrop and everything so it all should be good. So I'm sorry for the glare from my computer screen. My it'll, It will dim soon so once it does I'm not going to mess with it. I don't know the camera's still on. So uh, you have the box right here. It's pretty nice. Got some uh, nice uh, artwork of Tiger down there in the corner. Kamen Ryuki. Uh, Mashire Tiger, uh, r and Rider and Monster Series number 8 over there in the corner. There it is. Um, you got the 15 Ryuki Point sticker up here, which I got I don't really know what the Ryuki Point system is, but... Okay. Uh, up here in the corner again. It says it comes with three advent cards, which I'll also be showing. Right there. Other stuff, uh, the figures obviously displayed in here. This is where the advent cards were. They are in my binder. I will show you them. Uh, on these sides here, let me zoom out. On these sides you have a picture of Tiger, blah blah. Same thing on the other side. On the top you have his advent beast, Dust Wilder. Uh, same thing on the bottom. There it is. That's Wilder, so lots of cool, neat stuff going on in the packaging. And the back is my favorite. I love the backs of the RM packaging because it's just a lot of random stuff going on. So you got uh, everything that is being displayed here. You got everything that comes in the set. You got his Advent Beast in the back. Um, him. You got him uh, displaying the. Uh, Dust Claw or his Strike event, and then um, every R and M uh, package has the featured figure in your box, um, displayed with another figure in the series. So this one is Axe fighting Survivor Yuki. So that's pretty cool. Or Axe Tiger I meant. Sorry. So enough talking about the box. I'm gonna get this figure open. Set so the box aside for a second. Let me get out the. Uh, Three yeah, advent cards that I think that it includes. Just give me a second. Okay, so it includes these three advent cards. The uh, Strike Vent, Dust Claw, Chimera Tiger character card, and Dust Walder. Unfortunately, I do not have a. Uh, um. Japanese drag visor, so I cannot show you the sound. So, sad face. So, the new figure. Get a good look at him. Okay, so. Okay, so here's the figure itself. It's very shiny and silver. It's very cool looking. Um. Very nice display piece. I do have to say this is um, pretty beautiful looking because uh, you know it's made out of Japan. They have they have amazing work, backs painted as expected, all this awesome stuff. So really awesome. I always love the tiger armor. Okay, accessories. Here you have his uh, axe, his dust visor, which is his uh card reader. Also his uh, pretty much signature weapon. So I'm going to 
Get him holding it. Give me a second here. Okay. There he is, holding his zest visor. Let me get this welder out. Get him looking all dusty. And there you go, there's everything you get, you get in a set. It's pretty cool, and there you go, you can see that's Waller. All right, cool. So let's get this Adam and Beast out of the way for a second. And let's go over the figure's articulation. Now keep in mind, um, uh, his fingers right here came off, and I had to super glue it back on, so I lost articulation in this hand for the, fig for the fingers. So yeah. Okay, head is on the ball joint. Can do all sorts of stuff. Arms can go 360, and they can go in and out. Uh, it's on a joint with the shoulder pad, so the shoulder pad doesn't move. I, lo I just love doing that. It's kind of fun. I love that effect. Um, single joint. Well, it bends all the way. So that's cool. Uh, 360 at the wrist. And 360 up here just above the elbow. And two joints at the hand because they're, you know, the classic Sochaku hench and split fingers. 360 at the waist. Forward, back, in and out. Uh, bend. 360. Ball jointed ankle. So you got a lot of uh, posability here. Fantastic posability. I'm just going to say that. Let's go on to the detailings on the accessory before we go on to anything else. So, nicely, uh, tiger stripes, even though they're not painted in. I, I just think that um, if Bandai Japan could paint those tiny little uh, yellow eyes, they could have painted the blue stripes. I don't see why not. So, that nice molded in detailing on the axe blade itself on the handle very nice okay now set him aside for a sec let's go on to his Advent Beast desk builder here he is now he has posability also nothing in the head I'm gonna say that right now but the arms can go 360 and they have a single joint at the knee I mean at the, knee, at the elbow and um, under his claws I'll remember them for a second, because they're going to take them off anyway. He has a, fa a fist that can rotate 360 degrees. It's utterly hilarious looking, but yeah. All right, the legs I have a big problem with, because they go at an angle. You can see this. They move at an angle. Same thing with the knee. That's really stupid. I don't like that. I'll let you know what you're going to do. So he's kind of a brick. Missing waist, no head. Disappointment. Oh well. Okay, onto this guy. So let's get his uh, strike vent going here. As I drop him, peg the desk claws onto his arms. Wrong arm. Sorry, I just bumped the screen. And I am failing. There we go. Hang on. And uh, we're going to position the screen because I'm going crazy with this stupid laptop here. Okay, hang on. Let me get this guy into a good pose. This pose is horrible, by the way, but... Yeah, so... There you go. You can have him all... With his giant claw weapons and be all like... Oh, I got giant claws that... Are huge and stuff. And what's also nice is the claws actually have articulation in the wrists. So that's cool. It does go full 360. I just don't feel like... 
turn them in because they'll pop off the arm and they're a bitch to get back on. So, yeah. The claws have nice detailing as well. Very nice. And so does the figure itself. I haven't even talked about the figure uh, detail. Get the claws off. Wow! <laughs> and get the figure in a more just static pose. Shows off all of his detail. So okay. So starting off with the head, I love the. I've always loved the visor in this guy. Ever since I saw him in the Dragon Knight opening, I was like, oh my god, that guy has such a cool helmet. And I always loved uh, Axe's helmet. Or Tiger's, whatever. Very cool. Okay, the chest piece. Yeah. Okay. It's got the claws as your shoulders. Nice. Molded in detailing on the uh, suit underneath the armor. All that stuff. Silvery. Here's a look at the belt. And everything is there. Even the um, little designs in all four corners, except for mine. Um, it's missing one of them. If you can kind of see, the top right corner is missing one of those little uh, diamond thing thingamadoos. Nice detailing on the legs, armor, it's all cool. All that junk. The, the legs on mine are extremely loose, so he has trouble standing on his own. Unfortunate. The back even has nice detailing, although a lot, a lot of screw holes are visible, but still. collar has nice detailing on it it's just a really awesome figure to look at he has one of the coolest suit designs from Yuki I think and um let me just get these guys in one last epic pose before I sign off while I hook the claws back on the desk folder Zack. Shit. And his leg pops off. Isn't that wonderful? Well, I try to pose him. Sorry, it's just taking a while. There we go. It's horrible, but yeah. Okay. So yep, that's R and M Dust Welder and Tiger. Definitely recommended if you can find them. I have been told they're um, one of the more rare R and Ms to come by. I have experienced that when searching for this guy on eBay. Um, got him for eighty dollars. Took him four weeks to come in because it was coming from Japan. I can understand that. But, um, okay, um, I got some news. My, uh, um, I did order my, uh, Combinator Blade Blade Rouser. If I didn't, sorry to say this in another video, I think I did, but I'll just go ahead and say, uh, the one that, I, I was planning on buying, that was $80, ended the day I was going to buy it. So, I mean, ended the day after I bought it, I was going to buy it, so I couldn't do that. And I got another one for $170. And you might think that's crazy. It's almost 200 bucks. I know. But I wanted it. So I bought it. And it, that's being shipped tomorrow. It's coming from Taiwan. And the guy said approximately 23 days, which is roughly three weeks. Actually, it's not roughly. It is three weeks. But I'm not good at math. I'm sorry. And I'm also uh, going to be ordering. I'm almost out of time. Ordering um, a Combinator Deno Master Pass and Deluxe Ticket Set. I'll be buying that on Friday. So expect reviews of those two things soon. I'll just uh, use the last 30 seconds just so you guys can look at the awesomeness of these these two guys. So get his advent cards all splayed out and looking all cool. Advent cards. Okay, so thank you for watching. And uh, goodbye.